What y'all know about rubber band men? Hey, boos, hey! We taking it back old school. Hey, you guys. Happy Masculine Mondays. I am Regal Essence. I am Queen TV. I'm Queen TV after dark. I'm life with the love goddess. I'm your ray of sunshine in the afternoon time. I'm your hood therapist, your crystal healer and dealer. And I'm your past life princess. Hey, booze, hi. So, you guys. Of course, I'm so excited to bring you guys this topic. Today, Divine Masculine, today we are talking about, are you psychic? Like, are you psychic? Meaning, do you have psychic gifts, right? And for those of us that were raised uh, in the church and raised in uh, some form of religion, we may, you know, we may denote the word psychic as being something negative but um as we begin to grow spiritually we realize that you know we have to we have to study to show our own selves approved right as the bible says for uh my bible thumpers so yeah like you start to realize that just because something has always been presented in a negative manner doesn't necessarily mean that it's negative and then you have to go and you know do your own research and you know see what's really good so psychic is not necessarily bad right so if you were raised in the church and you identify with um Christianity or that form of religion, then a lot of times you were raised to believe that if you were gifted um, with certain abilities, it was a prophetic gift or that you were a prophet, right? Um, but as you step into spirituality, you start to um, no longer denote the word psychic or being psychic with um, having a negative connotation. Okay. So the word psychic broken down um, means something related to the mind or the psyche. It comes from the root word psyche, right? So today, you guys, I'm going to give you guys 10 ways to know if you are psychic or if you embody psychic gifts, okay? And then, yo, I feel so, y'all, I feel so weird. Like, I feel so weird uh, teaching this, right? Because, you know, I was raised to think that psychics were bad and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, like, this is, like, kind of weird for me. But I, I truly, honestly, wholeheartedly um, believe in everything that... <laughs> everything that I'm about to teach you guys, right? But, you know, even when you get grown and as an adult and you grow up or whatever, you can make your own decisions, you will find that you may still be very heavily tied to um, how it is that you were raised or you may be still very heavily tied to certain beliefs um, that your family systems... Um, family structures that your parents, so to speak, basically um, uh, indoctrinated into you, right? But, um, yeah, today, so, you know, is you psychic, divine, masculine, or an all, okay? So, I'm only talking about the positive side of being psychic because we all know once we really get into spirituality, and even, you know, whenever we're in religion, we still know that there's basically, there's a dark side and there's a light side, right? And people utilize their gifts for good or bad. And it's funny because I remember when my son was little, I used to be like, man, he used your gifts for good, right? Like, was you that kid that, like, you could either have everybody focused because you were a leader right and you could get everybody to do what was good and what was right or you could just totally turn up and like have everybody wilding right so my son was that kid so I used to just be like please use your gifts for good you know what I mean? like just be a good role model like just be good because people are gonna follow you right and um I believe that is very important I was having a discussion with my daughter yesterday and i believe very heavily that if you are in the public eye um you should 
take on the responsibility um, and be very mindful of the fact that you affect those around you, right? So if you're in the public eye, you have the ability to affect a large group of people. And I feel like with that being the case, you know, you should show up in the world um, a certain way. I don't know how I segue to that. But anyway, you guys, so today we're talking about Divine Masculine. Are you psychic? Do you possess psychic gifts, right? I'm going to give you guys 10 ways to know if you indeed harness psychic gifts okay then next week unless god change it up on me but i don't think so because i did a lot of research and then he like changed it up at the end so anyway guys so first of all i want to sprinkle into your consciousness the fact that you could actually um harness psychic gifts that you may not realize right and then next week i'm going to get into the five different psychic gifts and I'm going to break those down so that you can kind of like find where you fit within those okay so first I just want to wake you guys up and sprinkle into your consciousness the fact that you may actually possess psychic gifts and then next week we're going to talk about those psychic gifts in more detail so you can see better like oh okay this is the gift that I operate in more heavily um or not right or not you might be dope like you might you might you might ebb and flow in all five of them okay so you want to think of a psychic gift basically what's a gift a gift is a gift right a gift is a treat so psychic gifts are um present in your life to be able to help you with making decisions right um and you should be utilizing them let me just say this again you should be utilizing them for your highest good and for the highest good of those around you okay toxic masculines they can be gifted as well but they're going to utilize their gifts for the bad and before you went through your awakening and before you started to step into your divinity, you may have realized that you have operated in these gifts all your life, but you may not have used them, you know what I mean? Like, you may not have used them for the highest good of all, you know? You might have used them for your own advantages, so to speak, if you will, okay? All right, so... um. I got my notes today, y'all, because I want to make sure I don't forget anything, all right? So, first and foremost, we want to think of psychic gifts as, um, or a psychic, as a person who is more, who has the ability to tap into extra sensory messages or information meaning extrasensory meaning that it goes beyond our physical 3d world and we experience our psychic gifts through our senses through our five senses so that's an easy way to be able to look at it okay so if you have psychic gifts that means you have the ability to get messages from the spirit realm and those messages that you receive from the spirit realm will help you in the 3D world, right? So it's going to help you, yourself, and then also depending on how it is that you carry out your gifts, it can also help others, okay? So you have the ability to tap into the spirit, the spiritual realm and receive messages that will help you within your 3D life and then also have the ability to help others, in their life okay so what we're going to start with uh, way to know number one okay so we're going over 10 today and then next week we'll break those 10 down into where they fit within the five major psychic gifts okay so number one a number one indicator as to whether or not you have a psychic gift is do you have the ability like are you like a, a bs radar right meaning nobody can get anything over on you you have the ability to be able to see through people's bill ish right and it's almost like have you always been the type of person that like nobody can lie to me like i always know when people are lying to me right you have the ability to be able to see through the bullshit right that's one indicator that you are psychic or you possess psychic gifts number two do you have 
like, can you um, sense like heightened emotion, either good emotions or sad emotions? So do you experience like bursts of emotion, right? And then those emotions later on, you may find out they are related to a situation. So say you just have like a burst of feeling like really happy and really excited. And then later on, somebody calls you or you go somewhere and you realize that something really, really happy or something really, really great is happening for you or someone that is close to you or around you, right? Same with something sad, right? So you may realize like, oh my goodness, like I just have this rush of sadness and I don't know what it is that's going on. And then you later on find out that maybe something happened to somebody that you're close to or someone around you, okay? So that's that's way number two, all right? So number three, do you also have those same feelings as it relates to different places. Like, do you go to different places and it just gives you, like, the heebie-jeebies? Like, you just feel, like, uncomfortable. Like, when you go into certain... Like, there's certain areas of the city that when I go into it, like, I just feel like I feel off. I don't... I just rather not be there. Like, it's just... I can feel the 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 chaos of of the area so have you ever stepped into somewhere and you just was like oh i just got I, I just get a bad vibe i get a bad vibe about whatever it is that's going on in here okay that's indication number three all right number four do you get a gut instinct do you have just like a gut instinct like i just i just feel into my gut I just kind of like know about like certain situations, um, like like said, and um, reason number three, certain places, you just have like a gut feeling about certain things. That is way to know number four, okay? So, oh, also too, do you make really easy gut decisions? Like, are you able to make decisions like, you know what, I'm going to just go with my gut, right? Oh, you know what? Let me preface this, okay? So, y'all know I always talk about how, as men, you are not programmed to tap into your feelings and tap into your emotions and all of that kind of stuff. However, as a divine masculine, it's going to be very important that you start to tap into your feelings, feel into your feelings, lean, lean into your feelings because... Your feelings are very, very important whenever it comes to your psychic gifts. You need to be able to trust what it is that you're feeling, right? Trust your, like, you can't trust your gut feeling if you, um, don't pay attention to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you stay in autopilot all the time and I just, I just stay very, um, in my, in my logical mind and that's how I go through life that's how I make all of my decisions I never make any decisions based off of just what I feel instinctually or just how I feel like I'm always very logical you you will have to shed you will have to shed some of that in order to be able to tap into your psychic gifts Psychic gifts are very much um, related, like I said, to your five senses. So smell, sight, hearing, right? So yeah, so y'all gonna have to tap. Y'all gonna have to tap into your feelings, okay? So gut decision. So sometimes you're going to have to make a decision based off of like, what is my gut feeling? Like, what's my gut instinct about this situation, right? Versus sitting down and being very logical and going with the most logical thing, okay? So that is very, very, very important, all right? So rule, I mean, um, <laughs> rule number five, <laughs> rule number five, okay. So sign number five, are you a dreamer? Are you a dreamer? Do you daydream often? Um, do you have dreams that are very vivid, right? Very vivid. Like when you wake up, you remember what it is that you are dreaming. That is indicator number five. Because oftentimes people that are psychic or have psychic gifts, they are very tapped into the astral realm, right? So y'all are dreamers. You get messages from spirit via your dreams, okay? Um, 
<sighs> Way to know number six, sign number six. Have you experienced deja vu multiple times? Like you realize that like, wow, I feel like I've been here before. Or wow, I feel like I know that person. Wow, this just feels familiar. It feels like deja vu, right? If you are somebody that experiences deja vu often, that is indicator number six that you are psychic or you are possessing psychic gifts. All right, let's get on to number seven. Number seven, it is hereditary, you guys. So what you're going to find is that you have people in your family that are gifted, right? So a lot of times, if you are in a family that is very psychic in nature, whether they told you or not, whether you've had a conversation about it or not, it is something that you are going to find is also in your bloodline, in your lineage, right? So your mom may have been psychic, your grandmom, people in your family will also harness these same types of gifts. That's an indicator, okay? Number eight, did you have specific childhood fears? For example, were you afraid of the dark, right? I know y'all don't want to admit it. I know y'all don't want to admit it, right? But were you, we're going to keep it on the low, right? But were you afraid of the dark when you were little? Because oftentimes, <laughs> oftentimes, you may have been visited by your spirit guides and things of that nature when it was dark. So as a child, this may have scared you. So you may have had a, <laughs> a, a, a very extreme case of fear of the dark, okay? It's cool, though. It's cool. Because it's just a sign that you got psychic gifts, okay? Did you have an imaginary friend growing up? Huh? That could have been a spirit guy who was coming to you to relay messages. Because like I said, our psychic gifts are all about us being able to receive messages from our spirit guides, from the spirit realm, or our higher selves in order to be able to help us throughout life. So people that had imaginary friends, they are psychically gifted. And that imaginary friend, nine times out of ten, was a spirit guide or someone of a of a angelic presence, right? An angelic being or a spiritual being, okay? On to number nine. Do you have a, do you get, do you get overwhelmed easily, right? And do you feel like overly, uh, <laughs> overly stimulated? Can you get overwhelmed and overly stimulated? <laughs> Very easily. If so, that is an indicator. And I don't mean, st I don't mean stimulated. <laughs> I don't mean stimulated. <laughs> in this context, I don't mean stimulated in that way. But do you find that you can get, now me personally, I'm one of those people, I can get overwhelmed and over, um, over, <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. I can get overwhelmed and overstimulated um, very easily. Like, I've, you know, I've realized that. And that is basically because um, as someone who has psychic gifts, you are very um, sensitive to energies, right? So that's why you can step into a room and get the heebie-jeebies or just feel like something's not right because you're actually very much tapped into um, energy and what is going on around you. So at times, if you tap, step into somewhere that is very, like, the energies are very chaotic. Of course, we can't see it in the natural, but you can feel it because you're able to pick up on energies. You become very sensitive to energies. And, you know, that that actually helps you with your gift. Um, but we just have to, you know what I mean? Like, we got to we gotta understand what it is that we're going through, right? So that we can use those things to our benefit. So that's why it's important for me to highlight to you guys whether or not you have psychic gifts or if you are a psychic. Because once you can basically um, attach an understanding with certain things that you go through, it's going to work in your benefit. It's going to work out for you um, ultimately, right? Um, what else was I about to say? Uh, 
Yeah, that's it. I forgot. If I remember, we'll, well, I'll, I'll go back into it. So, n sign number 10. This is the very last one, you guys. Sign number 10 is, do you... Oh, do you feel like there's something more? Have you always felt like there's more to this life? Like, it has to be something more out there. Like, do you believe in aliens and, you know what I mean? Like, do you just, do you very much heavily resonate with the fact that, like, there's more beyond just this 3D world? It has to be otherworldly things going on there has to be spirits that we come into contact are you very cognizant of the fact that there is not only a natural world but there's also a spiritual world that's actually things are going on in a spiritual world just like they're going on in a natural world if you've always had that resonation if you've always resonated with that thought process uh-uh that is sign number 10 that you are psychic or that you have psychic gifts, okay? So, I'm about to get out of here, but I want to give you guys two ways to um, further be able to tap into this outside of the things that I said. Is number one, you want to get into um, consciousness awareness. So, basically, how I talk to you guys about um, like leaning into your feelings, you want to... Pay attention to certain emotions, right? You want to ask yourself like, okay, so I'm having this rush of emotion. Are these my emotions or are these somebody else's emotions, right? So basically, you want to follow the emotion. Like, you really want to figure out like, okay, what is going on right now while I'm having all of these emotions? Are they mine? Are they someone else's? If they're mine, why is it that I'm feeling this way at this particular time, okay? So once you guys start to do that, you will be able to further strengthen your gifts because you're going to start to pay attention to certain things because a lot of times regardless to which psychic gift you um operate in more strongly a lot of the times the information is going to come into you kind of like a download right it's just gonna become present it's gonna make itself known so the more you tap into your emotions and things of that nature your thought process your thoughts um you will be able to strengthen your gifts so if you're paying attention to the fact that like this particular word is sticking out to me or there's a particular phrase that keeps you know um circling through my mind right i'm feeling certain emotions whenever i experience this or whenever i go here i am having these emotions once you start to really pay attention to those you're going to become even more sensitive to messages whenever you have messages coming in okay way number two you want to get into meditation right so meditation simply is this Taking the time to quiet your mind, quiet your mind, and allow yourself to go into a theta wave, allowing your brain to enter into theta waves, right? When you're in a theta state mentally, you are more receptive to messages coming in. So it is going to be very important for you to tap into your feelings, mm, and be able to tap into that calm, meditative state of mind so that you can receive the messages that are coming in or the downloads, however it is that you want to, however it is, you, however you want to call it, right? I remember my son, he used to be like, you know, I did, like my son is um, musically like he's a genius, but he's very self-taught. So, like, he was like, I just, you know, I just get downloads. Like, I just know, right? And he was a little person. And that was before I was using the word downloads. Like, I had never heard anybody say or explain it that way. But that is a part of being, um, that's a part of your psychic gifts. Like, information just always flowing in, flowing in, flowing in through your senses, right? Flowing in through your five senses to give you messages that will help you with making a decision that's going to help you in your 3D life or whatever. So, yeah, you guys, that's all I got for y'all today on this Divine Masculine Mondays. I'll be back next week. We're going to talk about the five clairs. The five clairs, we're going to talk about... Um, 
what your strongest um, psychic gift is. We're going to get into that. So I'm going to give you guys an understanding of each of the five gifts so that you will be able to see where it is that you fit. Like, which gift is, you know, like, what gift do I operate in, okay? And you guys may find that you operate in a couple of them. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys. So that's all I got for y'all. Do me a favor. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Um, what else I want y'all to do? Um, oh, I want you to drop me a comment. I want you to, I want you to let me know um, if you have already discovered your psychic gifts and exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? So leave me a comment and remember, I love you. Peace.